No, 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 no. It's okay, chill it, chill it out. Grab a couple red hearts, I'll be fine. I wanna kill Gish so he'll stop breaking my rocks. Cause I use those as safety. He doesn't understand that. Maybe he does understand that, and he's just being smart and being like, hey, I know you use those as safety though. That's why I'm trying to get rid of them. Oh, I think he's gonna, yeah, I thought he was gonna do the monstro face laser thing. Oh, that was fantastic. I had them both frozen there. Okay. Oh, God. The husk needs to die, like, right now. He could be so bad of an enemy if he spawns all those little turds. Oh, let's get rid of that. Oh, nice. They just willingly killed themselves on that toxic, toxic poop. That's awesome. Okay, this is a fight that I did not want to fight. I was not looking forward to fighting. But, if the bloat can stay down here, stuck on these rocks, not able to jump over them, my life is so much easier, see? Let's see if we can get that rid of the heart. Okay, a little bit dangerous. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, that's not bad at all. We can freeze the mask, making him take untold amounts of damage. This, this boss rush is almost over. This is fantastic. This is going really well. Oh, no, no, Pestilence, you bastard. I forgot about your mortars. I was going to use that for protection against the Fallen. You jackass. Well, there's no telling it would have stayed there, I mean, with lore and everything. Where are you, Death? There you are. Are you up here? Being protected? I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Oh god, the sights. Okay. The horse is gone, which is good. Oh wow, thanks, War. Or at least I think it was War that killed Death. Okay, let's grab a couple of these red hearts. This is almost over. Straight up almost over. Nice. Nice. Voice. Yes. Okay, let's try and get the pony first. Just gotta be deliberate. There we go. Oh, careful. Careful, that's toxic food. Nice. Okay, now all that's left is the horseman, or the the head of the headless horseman. Got it. That is boss rush done as Azazel. Thank God. And all I get is the bean. <sighs> well, you know what? The IV bag's probably not going to be too useful anyway. I mean, I, seriously, I could use it now. Because there's so many hearts around here. I guess I might as well. Just in case I come across some beggars or some judgment cards. It's gonna be awful min-maxi, but I think it'll work. Wait, why am I only taking half damage? Oh, it's not the womb yet, that's right. Fantastic. And this is definitely a good idea. Careful of the toxic poop. And I'm just doing this in, in hopes that I will need money in the future. And it's not like it's going to hurt me. I, I am able to pick up all the HP in the room. And I guess I'll take the bean. The bean is not very good, though. Oh, I forgot about that heart there. That's well, okay. We got 18 bombs, so I'm going to bomb this skull and see if there's something there. Is that Jera? No, the gauze. I'll use it. Sure. Let's go. Probably should have waited just to see if there's a curse on this floor. It's 
So the item at the room, or at the end of the boss rush room, was certainly not worth it. But the first item was great. Mom's contact? That is just too good. I'm not taking that. Like I said, most people probably would have said take mini mu or magic mush. Because magic mush is, a, you know, arguably one of the greatest items in the game. But, you know, Mom's contact is just so good for Azazel. Or anybody that uses Brimstone, period. Because the longer you can freeze enemies in one place, the more damage your tears do. Look at this. Look at that. Totally dead. Without Mom's contact, probably wouldn't have died that easily. Oh god, you're super fast, dude. Well, guess what? I don't have tears, so you can't really mimic my tears, because I don't have tears. I'm gonna go back, and this way I can go in here for free. Well, actually, technically, I could have done it anyway, because I'm flying. You don't take damage on the way in. I guess I didn't need to be that min-maxing. Oh, shoot! Whoa, shoot! Oh, I see you, buddy. There we go. No, come on. Where'd he go? I know he's not dead. Where is he? There he is. Gotcha. Okay. So this might be one of my greatest Azazel runs ever. Which will be good, because I hate Azazel. I will be so glad to be done with Azazel. I mean, if I random him in the future, that's fine. I'll play him random. But I don't ever want to have to play him deliberately again. I see you. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Amnesia's probably not that good. Nice. Soul heart and bad gas. That basically is like my bean. <laughs> not very good. Tears down is not good at all either. These pills are horrible. Thank you. I'm glad I only took one damage on that room because that was Holy Mantle. Telepills is definitely better than uh, Tears Down. Whoa, that was... Damn it. Really hoping not to take damage here. Soul Heart? Oh yeah, the Relic is giving me these Soul Hearts. Thank you, Relic. You're being super useful because I am taking a lot of dumb damage. Oh, it's another one of those guys, of course. You can be frozen, dude. Now if I could just get my tears to go up just a bit more, I could actually probably hit them with two full salvos of... Uh, no, I'm not gonna play that. Of, um, the mini brimstone. Oh, careful, careful. Nice. Good stuff. Ugh, that's not good. Super junk. And yes, I did find my secret room. The battery is super not useful. Ugh, double gurdy. God. Oh, Jesus. I'm hoping to get one, like, frozen here. There we go. Oh, hey. I didn't even know there was stuff up there. That's cool. If I stay back here, can he not shoot? He can't shoot behind him. That's pretty good to know. Gertie cannot shoot behind him. Oh. I did not know this. You can just kind of scum this fight. You don't have to jo dodge his bullets because there's no bullets to dodge. Unless he creates pooters. He's dead. That is great! That is good to know if you have flying. Old bandage is fantastic. And deal with the devil is Krampus. Hmm. Shouldn't have taken that damage. 
but he's gonna get frozen and he's gonna die. I don't like Krampus's head, but you know what? It's probably better than the bean. The bean is garbage. If I had any other item, I would not take Krampus's head. Oops, I probably should have grabbed a heart, but oh well. I'm sure we'll find one. Especially with the old bandage. Which, if people don't know, the old bandage gives you a chance to drop red hearts when you take damage. Which is pretty great. I might use a or a Zazel's head. I might, yeah, Krampus's head was probably justifiably used there. I'm not sure if it carries tear effects. Because if so, that would mean Krampus's head could technically, possibly, freeze the enemies as well. Which would be pretty great. Oh, hold on. Soul heart, very nice. The Fool, not super useful, but probably more useful than Telepills. Not, not too big of a fan of this room. Although... Um, the good thing about Blast Assist with Mom's, uh, not Mom's Pearl, Mom's Contact is each new Blast Assist counts as a new enemy. Because you can only count, or you can only freeze enemies, like, once every, what, five seconds maybe, something like that, is what I've noticed. And so when you kill the Blast, or when you make the Blast Assist into its smaller portions, they count as new enemies, and you can automatically freeze them. You don't have to wait five seconds or whatnot. Which is kind of cool, like this. That was a Krampus' head room, I'll tell you that much. Not happy to be taking damage there, but... That many blood bullets, I'm not surprised. Plus, I mean, I've got the, the relic, so... I'm not too worried. I have plenty of keys, I can open these. Judgment. That's kind of what I was looking for. It's kind of why I was doing all that min maxi IV bag play in the boss rush room. Come on, buddy. I didn't really want HP, but whatever. Did you drop another judgment card? No. But Empress is a good card. Much better than the Fool. Let's see here. Probably, yeah, not going to be getting into that boss trap room, but that's okay. Polycephalus should just die here, like, almost instantaneous. Well, not quite. Not doing quite as much damage as I thought. It's alright. Probably from the relic. Nice. Krampus's head is charged. I have not found the boss yet. Oh, it looks like a similar room that I just was in. can't fly like I can, dude. Oh, jeez, this is Krampus' head. That's Krampus' head territory. And I'm still probably gonna take a crap ton of damage. That's alright. The relic has got my back. Mm, good stuff. Tears down is bad, and bad gas is not good enough. Man, these pills. Some of them are okay, and then some of them are just god-awful. It's okay, that was Holy Mantle. Uh, come on. Thank you. Um, sure. Let's go fight the boss. I think it's gonna be, yeah, it lives. It's probably just gonna get shit all over here. Yeah, look at that. Insta-kill. Don't have to worry about the deal with the devil. So I'm going to see if maybe I can get another Krampus's head charge. Oh, shoot. Shoot. Careful. Yeah, see how they don't get frozen? I don't think it has anything to do with luck either. 48 hour energy is nice. I'll take it. I mean, it's technically, I could just use Krampus's head like crazy if I want to, and I might. I'll use it here, for sure. Here go. Ah, there is one more. Aha! 
The relic is so good, though. Ah, uh, yeah, sure, please. It's technically free because of Holy Mantle. Whoa! Terrible. Oh, I took too much damage. Wow, why was that guy frozen for like an eternity? Usually enemies don't get frozen for very long, but wow, that guy was frozen forever. Alright, that should be... yeah, that's the whole entire floor. I'm gonna go grab one of those batteries and let's head down to Shoal. Oop, batteries are up here. Yes. I don't know if I want blue babies. Yeah, you know what? I will take blue babies, friend. Or blue baby soul. Why not? I don't technically need mom's pearl. All that much, anyway. Because I have the relic already, and it's going to give me soul hearts every, I think it's four rooms, I believe? Every four rooms that you finish. So I think that should work out pretty well. Gonna have to be careful with Krampus's head here. Oh, you pieces of garbage. I don't like these guys. Probably my worst enemy is Azazazel. Because they're gonna get all up in your face. Oh, God. And of course I say I don't like it. I mean, the game's like, oh, so you want me to give you more of those guys? No, game, I don't. Thank you very much, so, uh, Relic. Uh, yeah, give me more of these guys. These guys are easy. They just sit there and take beatings. I like it. Uh, super slots, not too bad. Whoa. That was Holy Mantle, so that's okay. Was it just me, or did it look like... I might as well use it. What, does it not even work? It doesn't even work on Shoal. That's dumb. But was it me, or did it look like... Um, like Sloth was censored there for a second? It looked like he had, like, mosaic censoring on him. Very strange. I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and take this paralysis pill so I don't keep looking at it and be like, is that a good pill? Be like, no, it's not a good pill. But it's not technically bad, unless you use it in the middle of a fight. Would you please die? Yeah, see, I think it's like a 10 second window that you can um, freeze enemies. Or the same enemy. So pretty much you can get them frozen right off the bat. Almost always. Purity's not very good. Telepills. Bombs are key. Man, this, these are not very good pills. I'm not super excited about them. Oh god. What are you doing here? The gate? Um, please die. Please die. Please die. Before you do your brimstone garbage. There we go. I know people don't like Blue Baby's soul, but, you know, I think it's actually kind of an okay familiar. Because he doesn't just shoot Spectral Tears, which Spectral Tears would be, you know, it would be kind of garbage if he just shot... What the hell happened to that guy? Well, maybe he bounced off his friend when he was frozen. Maybe. But yeah, he doesn't just shoot Spectral Tears, he shoots Spectral Homing Tears. Which is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and play this guy. I got plenty of money. Come on, buddy. Give me something good. Oh, fanny pack is good. I'll take that. Don't really take... Yeah, I looked in there. I probably will be exploring the whole entire floors, too, because I'm feeling pretty powerful, which is good, because I usually don't feel this way as... Uh, um, as Azazel. So I'm kind of enjoying it while I have it. Yes! Alright. Uh, I'm not liking this room either. Yeah, I don't like room. I don't like enemies that you can't see. Thank you, Relic. At least the Relic has my back. 
It's like, dude, you're playing really badly. Let me help you out with some soul hearts. Hey, it's not my fault, Relic. This is, uh, this is some genuine grade A bullshit this game is throwing at me here. Actually, it might not even be grade A, it's grade, like, double A. This isn't too bad. Oh, careful. Holy Mantle's already popped, so be very, very careful. That was not being careful. That's alright, I guess it wasn't too bad. I could really use the wafer, though. Man, where is the wafer when you need it? I finish that last room without taking some damage, it will give me a soul heart, I think. I'm trying to count if I've done four rooms. I think this is the fourth one. Oh, this is, this is Krampus' head worthy. Besides, I got a battery anyway. It was not a soul heart room, darn. Go grab my battery, and let's fight Satan. I'm... I'm debating whether I want to save the Empress for the Lamb, or use it on Satan. I don't think I really need it on Satan. I'm pretty sure I don't. Uh, let's go ahead and bomb these fires. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Are you guys going to drop some soul hearts too? That'd be super sweet. I probably got a little too excited there, I guess. Alright, see. Probably put that a little too soon. Yeah, I did. Yeah, my bad. Alright, hey, you bomb flies. Or bomb whatever you are. You're not flies. Oh, God. Nice. Nice. Oh, Satan can be frozen too. I love it. A little bit of damage there, that's not good. Gotta be careful. I'm gonna try and save Krampus' head for the feet. Try not to take damage, or not too much. Okay. Now let's see if I can get both feet. Yeah, kinda worked. And it does freeze them, nice. Oh crap. Nice, there we go. It's a little dangerous. I gotta say, a little bit dangerous. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one of these red hearts. Just in case, because I don't know about this. I was feeling pretty good, but that Satan fight was pretty difficult. I don't like having to get close to stuff. That's why I really wish that I could get just normal brimstone, but apparently even with Goathead, you don't get a deal with the devil on Shoal. Which I guess makes sense. I mean, I did just kill the devil, so how in the world could you get a deal with the devil when you kill him? Ah, Curse of the Darkness. Well, it's not too bad. Could be worse. Whoa, watch it. More spiders and another bomb. Great. Not gonna worry about it. Oh god. No! Holy Mantle already got popped. That was, that was horrible. Oh, thank god he got frozen. Oh. Crap. Thank you, old bandage. No, come on. Come on. Don't do this bull crap to me. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, God. This is a nightmare. And I'm dead. But at least I've made some progress on Azazel. I just, there was no way I was going to beat that. It was ridiculous. So let's see, what time is it? Yeah, I think I've got time for one more run. Maybe. Yeah. Alright, so who should I run as? I want to do somebody that needs the chest. Lazarus needs the chest. You know what, I haven't ran as Lazarus in a long time. 
So seed for this run is going to be N V N H 4 S D 8. Let us proceed as Lazarus. Oh, that was pretty good. Feels good to kill a trite that easily. Or whatever they're called. It might actually be called triads, I'm not sure. Because they look kind of like Triacnid. And his name's Triacnid? I don't know. I just call them trites because I'm pretty sure that's what the wiki called them. And it sounds like something you can say out of spite. Like, oh my god, a fucking trite! Like that. But when you're saying, like, triacnid, it doesn't sound like you can really say that out of spite. Not really, anyway. I think Lazarus needs boss rush? Hold on a second. Yes, he does need boss rush. Hmm. I wish there was a way that you could do that without actually stopping the game and then having to continue. Maybe if it showed on the little pause screen, that would be nice. I mean, there's... Well, technically, I guess there's not that much room, but they could put it off to the side where the map is and stuff. Just a little or a little sticky note that says what you have and everything. Abel's not a very good item. So I'm not super excited about that. I like the soul heart. I'm going to actually hold on to it, though. Because I could conceivably take a lot of damage against this boss. Pin. Probably not going to happen. Pin's pretty easy. Oh, jeez. And of course I take damage because I was looking at his dumb little diglet friend. Should have kept my eye on Pin. If you keep your eye on Pin, you usually don't take very much damage. I was trying to keep my eye on the little diggly guy because I didn't want him to become a problem. I wanted to take him out first. I did manage to take him out first, but he was a little bit of a problem because it allowed Pin to jump right into me. Which is kind of okay because you can't get a deal with the devil on the first floor anyway, so I'm okay with this. Of course, I'd rather take no damage, but hey. Sometimes can't get that lucky. So what do I want from Pin? I want... Man, Magic Mush would be so good. That's not Magic Mush, but it is Old Bandage, so it is acceptable. Because it's HP and then the added bonus of maybe dropping a heart when you take damage, which is great. So let's head on down to the next floor. I have some bombs, but I usually tend not to do the secret rooms when I'm trying for boss rush. I can't even remember what boss rush with Lazarus gives, because I've already got Lazarus' rags, so that's not for boss rush. I might take my pill... Um, like, if I pick up another consumable or something... Or... Well, they're not consumables, because... Hearts and coins and bombs are called consumables. I don't know what you'd call them then. They're not trinkets. They're sub items? I don't, I don't know. Or sub actives, maybe? I have no idea. I would love to get some damage. That would be fantastic. So if you could accommodate game, I would muchly appreciate it. Even though muchly is not a word, I would still appreciate it more than the English language dictionary can uh, fathom. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Now, the, the pill could be good, but it could be really terrible, too. If it's like a bad trip, that would be so bad. And so, I mean, I'll, I might take it after the boss, at least, so I can hopefully get a deal with the devil. Come on, 
Come on, come on. Get you. There we go. What is that? Empress. Oh, that's a pretty good card. Let's take the pill now. Lemon Party. I had a feeling it was going to be Lemon Party, too. Anarchist Cookbook is not very good, but I guess I'll take it because I don't have an active. Uh, I could see maybe using it in that room. Sure. Careful. That's not what I wanted to happen. But it kind of worked out. Got me a secret room at least. Careful. We'll take damage on the spikes. Take that red heart. And I still have one soul heart to bring into the boss fight, so it's not too bad. I don't see any tinted rocks. Larry Jr.'s not too bad. I deal with the double chances are pretty okay. If I want to, I could just use Abel, but he doesn't fire tears very quickly. Honestly, I think if they wanted to make Abel a little better and more viable as an item, where people would be a little more excited, he should get all the tiers upgrades that you get. Or at least like half of them or something. Because if you're firing tears like a machine gun, he still fires tears like Brother Bobby. I mean, it's kind of cool that he's mirrored and everything, but he's basically just like Brother Bobby that you can kind of control. This is a really bad fight. I'm taking a lot of damage, but it's because I have no damage to, to be seen. There's no damage. And Larry Jr. can be kind of tricky with no damage. Oh, thank God. I don't think I've taken Red Heart damage on the boss, though, so... Deal with the Devil is possible. There it is. Fantastic. Range upgrade is not amazing. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'll take both of these. Book of Belial is fantastic. That means guaranteed deals with the Devil in the future. And Guppy's Hairball is not amazing, but I could have used the Empress there. But I figured maybe I'll save it for, uh... Worse boss fight. Because it probably will happen. Ah, do I dare go into the cursed room right off the bat? Probably not. But I will bomb this. Just to get a skull turret. That's exactly what I wanted. How did you know that game? Oh my god. Please pop up. Please. Thank you. Seriously, these guys should have a failsafe built into them to where they can't just walk into you like assholes forever. Wait, does Guppy's hairball block bullets? Oops. That was dumb. Because see, there's the fact that if you hit them, you can kind of push them away, which is cool. But the problem is, they'll almost never pop up if you're hitting them with, with tears. So all you're doing is technically s kind of pushing them away. It's not really pushing them away, but kind of. And game, why are you going to give me the onk when I'm Lazarus? Really? The game's just like, hey, dude, you're not getting any damage, man. Deal with it. I would use Book of Belial, but I don't, I don't really think it's worth it to use it in this room. I don't know of any time that you use Brother A or not Brother Bobby or Brother Abel uh, Abel effectively. It's hard to say. I think he's just you know random damage. I'm not gonna be getting that chest. I don't have the keys to justify that. Ooh, Tinted Rock, interesting. I will try and remember that stair. That could be very, very good. Let's try and get this guy out of here first. Ooh, that was close. I don't even know how I didn't take damage there. Because these guys are a little slower. I figured they wouldn't get over here soon. Apparently they got over here about the same time. Not good. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Wait, what time is it? 8.43, not too bad. Let's go ahead and bomb this tinted rock. Uh, why did it have to be a golden chest? Hmm. Well, it's tough to say. I don't know if I like the chances of... Back. Oh, thank you for that red heart. I'm gonna leave that on the ground for right now. Actually, no, I'm not. Let's go in the curse room and hope for... Oh, that's exactly what I was hoping for. That or double black hearts. That is perfect. Not that I need the chance with the deal with the devil, but... Awesome. You know what? I probably should open this gold chest. I was really hoping it was going to give a key, but I guess not. I guess you can't win them all. Yeah, you know what? The Empress on Gertie sounds pretty good. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. And Book of Belial, sure. Let's double-double the damage. Quadruple the damage here, buddy. I'm not going to worry about getting behind Gertie here, because I don't think you can actually technically do it in his actual boss fight here. Because I'm pretty sure you'll take damage back there. Not 100% guaranteed, but I'm pretty sure, and I really don't want to take damage. There we go. Decent damage, not too bad. Squeezy is fantastic, I love Squeezy. One of my favorite drops. Or pickups. Well, there's the nail. Which is interesting. Um, but honestly, I think I'm going to take Horror Babylon. I, I could take the nail, too. And then just leave Book of Belial. Yeah, sure, why not? This is a permanent Horror of Babylon, at least. And the nail gives a... Soul Heart, and the ability to crush rocks, which would be great if I could find some Tinted Rocks. Kind of what I'm taking the nail for. Normally you should probably roll with Book of Belial there, but... You know what? I think that the nail is going to give us good survivability. I don't know about that yet. Let's check this out. Interesting. But, um, Permanent Horror Babylon is fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. You know what? I guess there's no reason I shouldn't pop the nail right now. Just so I can get the soul heart. I don't want to be just carrying the charge around like an idiot. Wiggleworm is not very good, right? Eh, it's decent. But yeah, see, like, Abel's shots don't wiggle. I think he should be able to carry all of your tier effects. And that would make him much cooler. Because right now, he's not very cool. He's just like Brother Bobby. And Brother Bobby's not very cool either. Aw, oh, damn it. See, there's a Tinted Rock there. Well, maybe I'll come back when I have a charge. I mean, I could use a bomb, but I'd rather just crush all the rocks. HP up is good. Although, unfortunately, he's going to take us out of the Horror Babylon state. That's not good. But hey, maybe I can trade it away on another deal with the devil. I'll have to work for him this time, but with the nail, it should be a little easier to get him. Granted... The Book of Belial was guaranteed, but hey. Sometimes you gotta take a little bit of risk. Oh, 
careful. Oh, damn it. Really hoping that wasn't gonna happen. Oh, this is a nightmare of a room. This is gonna take decades to finish. These guys have way too much HP, and I have absolutely no idea which ones I'm hitting. This is a stupid room. God, why would they even make this room? I mean, it's not really difficult, it's just time-consuming as all hell. Look at how long this takes. Damn it. I was really hoping not to take any damage there, but whatever. That's okay, I've got the nail. Which is definitely the first time I've ever seen the nail, because I just unlocked it last run. So it's kind of cool that it just popped up. Damage would be nice. God. Dang it. I wish the nail, like, gave you stacking damage as well. That'd be so cool. Like, every time you used it, it would give you, like, 0.1 damage up or something like that for the whole floor. Or for the whole game, even, and just cap it out at a certain time. That'd be really cool. That'd make it a little more useful. So as of right now, I mean, it's just basically kind of like a crystal ball giving you a soul heart and notched axe put together, pretty much. That eternal heart is big. Like, huge, giant, huge. Now, if I could just keep things alive, I don't know if it's gonna happen, oh god. I looked at this room with the three bats and was like, hey, this isn't so bad. Hey, cyborg. Oh, crap. Curse of Darkness sucks. Oh, come on, just die, would you? Thank you. Alright, so we got a locked door here, which is going to be the shop. Maybe I go to the shop. Yeah, I think I will. I think this was a good deal. Because I'm going to grab that soul heart. And I think I'm going to donate a little bit, too. I think this might just be a chest run. I don't think I'm fast enough to go for boss rush. Oh, you just couldn't wake up today? I know how that feels. I have that feeling a lot. I just don't get enough sleep, that's the problem. Like, even if I get like 8 hours of sleep like you're recommended to get, my body just doesn't rest. It's a huge problem. So I don't know if popping the nail here does any good. I, I don't think it really gives you any damage or anything. And I'm not taking that eternal heart because I really don't think I can keep it alive. sure about Wiggle Worm. Come on! Come fly into Guppy's hairball, I dare ya. I dare ya. Yeah, see? Guppy's hairball does some damage. Don't do what I did. Don't be on the bottom of Dark One like that. That is a really good way to get killed. Ow. Wait, how did I not see damage there? I don't have Holy Mantle. The crap. Wait, does... Does the nail make it so that you have, like, a holy mantle effect? Oh wait, maybe I didn't take damage, maybe it was just so close. Uh, careful. Wow, I don't even know how he died, but Jesus Juice is great! That's exactly what I was asking for, was damage. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Wait. No, because I didn't have bloody tears. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what the nail does. Like I said, I just unlocked it now, so or last run, so I really don't know what the nail does. Couldn't tell ya. I know that it gives a soul heart, and it gives the ability to crush rocks in the room. I know that. Oh crap, I totally forgot to bomb that rock, I think. That tinted rock. 
could come back to haunt me. Oh, thanks, Cyborg. I would, but I'm trying to get this to, this run hopefully to finish. Because I don't have much time. I've got about maybe an hour at the most. Oh god, this is not where I want to be. Oh god. The damage is just not good enough. I mean, I appreciate the Jesus Juice game, I really do, but this damage is not enough. I mean, you've got to give me more or I'm going to die. Oh, come on. Honestly, I'm pretty sure it wants me to die. Well, yeah, yeah, what was I supposed to do there? That was impossible. Well, now I have War of Babylon again. Kind of useful. But if I die again, I'm gonna become freaking Blue Baby. I don't want to become Blue Baby. Because Blue Baby is totally done. Strength is okay. I could see myself maybe using that. Maybe. Alright, wait. Let's see what's in here real quick. Probably not worth it. I need a blood bank. That's what I need. Come on, game. Accommodate me with my blood bank. And, like, tons of red hearts to play it with. God. Okay, good. At least the fast one died. That's looking on the bright side. Oh, jeez. A pill. Speed up. I'll take it. It's called the nail. Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. And now I'm freaking blue, baby. Are you kidding me? Well, now any progress that I would have made is gone. Might as well use the nail. See, because I know it gives you a soul heart. Oh, holy crap. Chocolate milk makes you fire like crazy. I mean, if you tap fire, anyway. And tap fire is just tears out the craziness, but charge fire, yeah, not so fast. But stronger, so that's good. The only problem is, like I said, now I'm Blue Baby. So all the progress that I was working towards is gone. I never should have picked up the Ankh. It might be a one run, but it's not... It's not gonna be any progress. I'm trying to make progress so that I can just fill out all the post-it notes so then I can just play randomly and not have to do anything. Never have to go to the dark room ever again, pretty much. Because the dark room is garbage. I much prefer the chest. As do pretty much all Isaac players, I imagine. Okay, I can probably get rid of this now. You've served your usefulness, Wiggle Worm. I, well, maybe you did. I don't know. Maybe you didn't. Oh, this is much better. Did you please die? Thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure of all that all the effects of the nail. It might give you like a Horror of Babylon-ish kind of damage increase, but I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure that all it gives you is one soul heart and the ability to stomp rocks. For a room, anyway. 
So if I used it here, I could stomp the rocks. But I'm gonna try and find out, see if I can maybe find a tinted rock around here somewhere. The Devil is a good card. Maybe I should have gone with just Book of Belial. Might still be Lazarus now. Might as well go to the Cursed Room. Two. Boss. If I remember correctly, my devil card was right by the boss room. Oops. Oops. There we go. And I didn't see any tinted rocks, or at least I don't think I did. So I'm gonna pop the devil and pop the nail, I suppose. Well, this will be a good place to have the nail. I can just stomp all these rocks and get them out of the way. Perfect. Oops. Nice. Yeah, you like that damage? Does that feel good? Uh. Stay away, war! Ha! Meat. Okay, it gives one soul heart, you have plus 0.6 strength. Oh, you get negative speed, and you can break rocks in that room by going near them. This is a reference to one of the nails used to kill Jesus. Yeah, I figured the reference was probably right. Okay, so it does give a damage up. I was pretty sure it did. That's pretty nice. I'm glad to know that. Let's head down. So hopefully this will be just a win. But unfortunately it can't possibly be any kind of progress because Lou Baby's sticky note is already completely done. And like, I mean completely done. It's awesome, even Boss Rush is done on him. Take that, Loki. A couple deliberately charged cho uh, chocolate milk shots. Oops. Oh, come on. Dude, you can't. You can't stop me. I'm good with Dr. Fetus. You don't think I'm good with uh, charged chocolate milk? Well, not as good. But decent. What the hell? Why is it Monstro 2? This is not supposed to be happening. This is supposed to be Chubb. Why did they put me up against Monstro 2? That's not good. I know how this room goes. It's supposed to be Chubb. Oh, Lemon Party is nice. You know what? Yeah, I'll use Lemon Party. Just give me a second here. Come on, Monstro. Do your jump. I know you're gonna do your leap. There we go. There's one. Now two. There you go. Jump right into the lemon party. Yeah, just sit there. That's fine with me. Awesome. And that's why you use lemon party sometimes. Amnesia is not a very good pill. I don't know why I'm holding on to it. Boom! Yes! Chocolate milk's good with those guys, that's for sure. Um, I might save the Hermit for right now. Just to see if possibly I can get... What is wrong with that hollow? Oh, I think he trapped himself in his own poop. Wow, good job, buddy. Now you're stuck on the wall. 
You are super smart. And by super smart, I of course mean incredibly stupid. Oh, you bastards! Stop protecting him! Thank you. Jeez, that was so bad of timing for those skull dudes. Well, I don't need blood banks anymore. Can't really play them as Blue Baby. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I know, he was super smart, wasn't he? I should have killed him while he was trapped by his own poop. But it's alright. I don't feel so good about using the nail for that. I was hoping to get at least maybe a tarot card out of it? I don't really know what I was hoping for. Oh my god, you know what is so good though? And what I cannot recommend enough for you to watch? You have got to watch Kung Fury. It is free on Steam, and it is a 30-minute movie, and it is probably the greatest movie ever made. It is so funny. I was laughing my butt off. And they actually did a really good job, too. Speed up, sure, I'll use that. The Hermit. Where is my cursed room? There you are, cursed room. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even caring about that cursed room. Let's just hermit out of it. And let's take there's options, because that, that is a great... Great, great thing. Uh, let's see. Do I want the soul heart, or do I want the pill? I'm gonna take the pill. Ugh. I was hoping the pill would be balls of steel, but apparently that didn't happen. Damn it. Uh. Oh, come on. My creep is supposed to kill you, dude. Okay. That's so weird to look at the map and see it like this, all broken up. It's like, oh my gosh, what if it doesn't connect? But it does. But seriously, that'd be weird. I'm kind of okay with that death because, like I said, I didn't want to be Blue Baby in the first place. But I think that is probably going to have to be the end of the stream, because it's getting close to 5 o'clock. And if I was to have another successful run, it would probably be a little close to 6, and it might cut off the end, and I don't want that to happen. Like I said, definitely go watch that movie. It's great. It's totally hilarious and totally corny, and so 80s it's almost painful. And it has laser raptors in it. How can people not like laser raptors? Seriously. Watch it. It's free. If you have Steam. Well, you have Steam. Yeah, you said you reinstalled Isaac. So yeah, you got Steam. Alright guys, so anyway, my name is Vitos. Thank you very much. If you did like my stream, go ahead and follow. Um, I stream every weekday at 2 a.m. And you can watch past streams on YouTube, some past streams on Twitch. And follow me on Twitter as well, or subscribe on YouTube, like, comment, anything you want to do. I will see you guys next week.